monthly, weekly? Probably like at least once a week. Um, I would say pretty often. Yes and no. We teens do have a lot of stress, but then again, adults also have a lot of stress. I think it's someone's own ability to deal with things that are already present for everyone else. I think that teenagers are less equipped with the ways in which to deal with these because they have less experience in the world. I think that their capacity to deal with these thoughts or other thoughts is um, more suppressed. I think it's the influence on others. Maybe they're not doing as well as other people. Um, they don't have a way out. Like they, they can't seek the help that they need. So I guess that's the only way that they can just stop all their problems. Uh, psychological issues. Maybe they have problems with anxiety and stuff like that. A sense that there is no way out that nothing will ever change, that nothing will get better. The parents couldn't be, they shouldn't be that harsh on their kid. See if they need a counselor or just somebody to talk to. Sometimes they're just scared of, like to confess to others that they have those like suicidal thoughts and people have a hard time understanding so like they rather just keep it to themselves. I think that we as a society have really pressured people into putting on an image and putting on a front. Make it less of a, just kind of a topic that people joke about, make it more of a serious thing. So when I was in high school, you didn't talk about these things, and, and you know, my brother um, had a really good friend who committed suicide when we were both in high school, and it was really hard for my brother, and to this day, he still struggles talking about that suicide. And we have this stigma that people who, are, who commit suicide are selfish, so I think creating uh, an environment where vocalization of these more difficult issues is accepted and um, valued is important.